If you're a filmmaker, videographer, or content creator, then lighting can be the difference between a great shot and one that looks like this. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five creative lighting ideas that will instantly improve the look of your films and videos. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, and today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most important aspects when it comes to film and video, and that is lighting. I'm gonna be using two types of light for today's video. We've got these tube lights, very popular at the moment because there's so many creative ways that we can use them, and a more traditional studio light with a softbox. A big thanks to Nanlite for sponsoring this video and for sending over the lights to help demonstrate these tips and techniques. So let's jump straight into this video with tip number one, and that is fake window light. Now, sometimes you might want the look and feel of natural light in your videos, but it could be a horrible, miserable day outside, or even worse, you might not even have a window. But if that's the case, do not worry because we can fake it. Let's say you wanted to capture a shot of this cup of coffee on the table. With a basic lighting setup using a softbox, the shot looks like this. Not very interesting. There's no feel of natural light in this shot. So this time I'm gonna capture the same shot only this time without the softbox. I want to create a harsh light. I want to try and replicate the sun. I'm now gonna place two small boxes on the table to replicate a windowsill, and then place this frame on top to replicate a window. And we've now created the illusion that the sun is shining through a window and hitting this coffee, a much more interesting shot. We could also change the angle of the light. We could move the light to replicate the feel of a time lapse. We could even change the color temperature from a cooler looking winter vibe to a warmer looking sunrise or sunset feel. We could even go one step further by introducing this fake plant. By shining our light through the leaves and adding some movement, we've now completely changed the look and feel of this shot. This could easily be the inside of a beach house on the beautiful island of Hawaii. Now, I've had this frame for quite a while. It originally came off an old mirror and definitely wasn't designed for film and photography, but there are plenty of grids and templates that you can get out there specifically designed for this kind of thing. Equally, don't feel like you need to spend a ton of money to replicate a very similar look. You could, for example, grab yourself a cheap bit of card like this and cut out the design or pattern that you're looking for. For this, I simply cut out strips of card to replicate Venetian blinds, perfect for a crime thriller or short film. Fake window light not only works great for product shoots, but also talking headshots like this one here. It allows you to create a mood, add some style, and makes the background of your videos look much more interesting. Now, how easy this effect to pull off is will depend on what light you use. The light that I'm using, for example, the Forza 300B2, is definitely a professional light, so it makes it a lot easier. Okay, let's talk about light painting or long exposure photography. Now, this is where we can get really creative and the possibilities are endless. To do this, you'll need a camera with manual control. Light painting can be done in any environment, but it's best to choose a location with minimal ambient light. The camera should also be mounted onto a tripod to prevent any unwanted shake. This will allow you to have better control of the light source and produce more defined light trails. Now, to create a light painting, you'll need a camera that allows you to have manual control of both exposure time and aperture. Start with an exposure time between 10 and 30 seconds and adjust as needed. Experimenting is key with this effect, Try moving your light in creative ways. Try using different colors. For this effect, I wanted to create some kind of portal or doorway leading to another dimension. After each light painting, review the image on the camera's LCD screen and adjust the exposure time, aperture, or light to achieve your desired effect. This was the original, and this is the final edit. Okay, let's talk about contrasting colors because this is one of the quickest and easiest ways to give your videos more style and make them stand out. Let's take orange and teal, for example, two complementary colors that are often used in big Hollywood feature films. These colors create a visually pleasing contrast that can really help make your image stand out. But how can we take these big Hollywood lighting techniques and apply them to our own films and videos? Well, let's imagine for a second that we wanted to capture some product B-roll of this gimbal. Using a more traditional approach, 
switch to lighting, we might light this gimbal using a softbox at a 45 degree angle like this. It looks okay, quite natural looking, but now let's light this scene using contrasting colors. The beauty of tube lights is that you can change them to literally any color you like. So let's go with blue and red, and we now have a much more interesting shot. And we could of course change the colors of these lights to best suit the mood and the feel that we're going for. But how else can we use contrasting colors in our films and videos? Well, let's imagine for a second that you're shooting a short film and you're looking to capture a tracking shot of someone walking through an abandoned warehouse. With no thought going into lighting this scene, just using the in-house lights, this is what it looks like. The camera movement is okay, but the lighting is terrible. So let's do what they do in big Hollywood feature films and light this scene using contrasting colors. We could put an orange tube light up here on this storage tank, we could put another one over here, and we could contrast this by adding some blue lights on this side, and we now have a much more visually interesting scene. Still dark and moody, but much more cinematic. Now, one of the main reasons for using tube lights is that they're portable and much easier to carry around compared to a big studio light. They also run off batteries, so no cables to trip over or plug sockets to find. You can adjust both color and intensity. You can control everything via an app, and this comes in extremely useful when out on location. And you, of course, don't need to be out on location to start experimenting with contrasting colors. Start simple with a basic talking headshot like this one here, perfect for any type of interview or YouTube video. Smoke or fog. Smoke or fog will help give your lighting much more atmosphere. Let's say, for example, you're shooting a scene where the main character is searching for someone on a very rainy night. With no smoke, the shot looks like this. It's okay, but with a bit of atmospheric smoke or fog in the air combined with a color grade, we now have a much more interesting shot, much more cinematic. The smoke adds movement to the shot and really helps define the beams of light and emphasizes the mood. We could even turn the storm effect feature on this light to replicate lightning. Smoke machines come in all different shapes and sizes. This is a relatively cheap one. You just fill it with this fog fluid, plug it in and off you go. Or there's the Smoke Genie, a small handheld portable smoke machine, much more portable, but does come at a price. Again, all gear mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. Okay, the next tip is to combine light with music and sound effects. Now, when you start to combine light with music and sound effects, not only will it help increase the production value of your shots, but it'll also help you tell a better story. Let's imagine for a second, you wanted to create a short film where your lead character was apprehended by a swarm of police, but you don't have the budget for actors hiring costumes or police cars. Well, do not worry because we can fake it. For this, I set up a few Pavo tubes with blue and red flashing lights, pulled the car over and got out with my hands behind my head. Yes, this behind the scenes footage looks absolutely ridiculous, but add some music and sound effects and we now have this. There are many creative ways that you can use light with music and sound effects. Let's say, for example, you needed a shot of someone sat next to a fire, but couldn't or didn't want to light a fire. Well, we can replicate a very similar look using light. This tube light, for example, comes with a campfire effect. Add some music and sound effects, and we now have this. Tube lights come with a ton of different effects. You could be at a fireworks display. The music and sound effects that you use are what will help you tell a better story. If you'd like to learn more about professional lighting techniques, then be sure to check out this video here. And if you'd like to learn more about filmmaking, video production, then make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss anything. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.